Welcome to Dexter Plays Arc Evolved. Welcome to How to Arc. We're going to cover basic shelter today. So my previous uh, how-to, we talked about the gathering of basic resources, which covered thatch, wood, fiber, stone, flint. And so uh, the next step here for basic shelter is we're going to want to be collecting a lot more of our basic resources. At some point, you've probably filled up on your basic resources. So there's a few engrams at this point you're going to want to learn for your basic shelter. A thatch foundation, the thatch door frame, a thatch roof, thatch wall, and a thatch door. And on top of that, you'll want to learn storage box. You could also learn campfire. Campfire is uh, immediately available to you at level zero. The rest of these is level two and then level three. So by level three, you should have this. You'll want to get the uh, a foundation and a storage box first, just so you can start storing all the resources you've gathered. Okay. To do that, hit your V key. Underneath your V key, your craftable items will come up. And you can see here that I have various thatch things that I can try to build. I don't have any thatch on me. Let me go grab some thatch. So again, to get your thatch, you would use a pick on the uh, trees, or you could use uh, your hand, but primarily you want to use your, your pick if you can. All right, so let's get off of here. So I have uh, some pre-made stuff, but first let me take you through the crafting piece of this. So here we got the thatch foundation. Boom, build one of those. And then the storage box. I have so many storage boxes right now, I'm not going to build another one. But there's the foundation. Go to the inventory, which is I, grab your th fat thatch foundation, bring it down into your, your hot bar. There, now it's on number nine. Now before I place this, of course, drink some water. In fact, I'm going to go down here and grab a bit of more water while I'm thirsty. Ah, uh, there we go. Zero. Awful. So, um, when you're looking to create your first piece of shelter, my recommendation is to find something along the beach. Beaches are tend to be safer uh, for your lower level. And near resources so you want to be near some trees near some rocks uh, if you can be near some shallow water like this it's great because in there you'll find some fish that you might be able to utilize and we'll do that in another uh, how-to about uh, getting food uh, meat and hide so this is a really nice place not only that it's it's got this nice little fire the, the nice little uh, waterfall here and it's pretty another thing about placing your uh, foundation if you notice, as I move up the hill, the foundation moves higher and higher. And when I come down here, you can see that it's now down at this particular level. And I can keep it pretty flat. This is a nice flat area. Wherever you place your first foundation, everything else is going to snap onto it like Legos. Okay? What that means is that if I place this right here, when I snap another piece on, it's going to go into the, the, the ground here rather than up the, the height like this. So just keep that in mind when you want to place that. You'll want to figure out how big do you want it. You want to buy 2x2, two 4x4, two, 3x3. Four four, three three. My suggestion for, for shelter is to do at least a 3x3. Three three. Um, I've brought materials for a 4x4. Four four, I mean, by a 2x2. Two two. So 3x3, three three, the reason I say that is then you can stand in the very center and be protected from any attacking dinosaurs. Unfortunately, thatch will only protect you against smaller dinosaurs. Larger ones can easily just whack their way through it and actually i'll show you that a little bit later all right so let's go ahead and place this i'm going to want to have a nice view over here so i'm going to come back here hmm, to about you go over the edge a little bit but yeah right there how about that Boom. so this is my very first thatch floor um now let me go ahead and grab the rest of this and we'll start placing more pieces so i've got door frames i'm going to I got another foundation. Um, I'm going to have to build a couple more pieces of foundation as well. That's all right. So we'll go into craftables. I want two more pieces of foundation. There they are. And all this crafting will give you experience, which is something you'll want to start building up on. And then, of course, we've got the um, boxes. 
So I'll take a couple of boxes off of that. Am I too, am I too overloaded? Let's see. I do believe I am. Ah, oh boy. All right. Well, let's, let's drop some stuff off here. I've built what I need to, so we're going to dump all the miscellaneous crap that I picked up. Keep that. Um, out of my weight. That's his weight, not my weight. Out of my weight. Ah, much better. So now I can place additional thatch floors. Uh, in the beginning, you might just want to go ahead and place your storage box down. That over my berries there. And there's something when you place this. First of all, keep in mind that you don't want to put it all the way over the edge. Because if you do, you're going to get in the way of your uh, your wall. And you don't want to put it in the way of the wall. So you, you want to kind of inset it a little bit like that. Um, and in this particular case, I think I'm going to put it right over here. I think that should do me right there. Now, I did one right click. And you'll notice it still isn't placed yet. But if I move myself back and forth, now what I'm doing is I'm rotating it. So if you want to, you can get that and place it, and then you can rotate it the way you like it. And then one more click, and it's down. Now I can use this to start dropping my stuff into. I can put my thatch and my fiber in there. Uh, things, store all my stuff. So now as you're gathering your thatch, your fiber, your wood, you can drop it on into the storage box. And then when you get it, you pull it out, build stuff, and put it back in again. Okay. So let's go ahead and drop the next pieces here. I want to make this one there. And I also want to go over there and one more there. Now I got myself a two by two. Um, next, I'm going to go grab my walls and my walls are, of course, sitting all here. My nice diner, Ernie, give me my walls. Um, hmm. Let's see. Oh, too much, too encumbered. All right. Now, again, place these things in your hot bar. I'm going to do the walls, and then once I have the walls down, I'll put the rest of the, the chests down. Put one wall over here. And you can make uh, windows if you want to. Uh, you can make uh, the door frames if you wish. This is currently just the basics. And I have two places I'm going to want to put a door. I'm going to put a door right there. So I can kind of go out and look out the, over the water. And I'll put a, another one over here. And we might change that later. Alright, so now we got all of our, our walls down. The last uh, couple of chests in here. And so now you can push it all the way to the back wall. Come forward a little bit. And there you go. Boom. So you can see I actually get a little bit more room there if I wanted to. All right. Let's go get the rest of this. Actually, do I have my uh, door frames? I do have my door frames. All right, let's put the door frames in. So I have two door frames. There's two reasons to get to do this. Um, and that one is aesthetics. Okay, look, it's nice. The more practical reason is escape. Uh, if you do get attacked by uh, dinosaurs, uh, they'll come up and they'll beat on the wall here and they're going to break through. And if you went in this way, this is where they're going to be. And it's kind of pointless to try to open the door to run. So they're going to get to you and they're going to eat your chewy insides. Uh, this gives you the other option of opening the back door and making a run for it. Um, with the dinosaurs, if you, once you do that, they're going to come chasing after you. But if you're on a, play, a PvP server, uh, it's going to help you because you might have somebody sitting in your front door hammering their way in and they won't recognize that you ran out the back door. Okay, um, push come to shove. You can also just tear down your wall. We'll actually do some of it. All right, I'm going I'm to move him forward a little bit. Come here, you. So I'm using the dinosaur here for a uh, just a carrier. I have my one carrier. I've got my two uh, defense dinos back there in case something comes after me. They can help me take it out. So I'm going to drop my door in. Drop my other door in. One pop. And then let's go ahead and grab the, the roof. Because it's raining and dang it. Bit off my head. 
So there's two ways to do the roof. Um, and I'll have to go outside to actually show this to you. Open the door with an E key. And then push my 9. So you can see I can do a kind of an overlap. In fact, I can come all the way out here if I do this quite right. Right? A little bit more? Yeah, there we go. I can go all the way over. You do need to have some supports the further out you get. And thatch, for example, I think only lets you go out one. Um, for aesthetic stake, I, I tend to like to do the overlap by one. Uh, I can complicate your building a little bit later, but that, that just gives me this feeling like I, you know, I can always hide under the, the edge. Um, for this, however, I didn't bring enough of those, so I'm just going to put the, the roof right above me. And you can see as you move around. Now, your angle will depend on how the uh, layout is. And in some cases, you may want to take a look at that because you might find um, that stuff isn't lining up the way you like it to be, you know, aesthetically pleasing. So keep that in mind. You can change the direction things like these go. But there, I got my, my roof on. I've got my door. And I have a couple of chests. You will probably need somewhere around two to three chests, uh, storage boxes keep everything in, in, a, in good shape. Um, another trick you can use is to put them sideways like this. That will allow you to uh, put more in one small area than uh, the other way. So let's see, I, I got, if I do that, can I, nope, there, I can, I can kind of get it in right there. One click, rotate it, drop. So you can see now I've got these two chests in here. It's a little bit easier. It takes up less space. So that's what I would actually recommend is that you do it that way. Okay. E key, pick up my stuff. So now, you know what? I don't like the way this is placed. Another option you can use for structures is if you own it. You can see if I hit E key, I get in there. I can put stuff in and out. If I hold the E key down, I get other options. I can set a pin code. I can rename it. I can demolish it. So I can rename this to... Um, Bad placement if I wanted to. Is it? It's 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 doomed in its near future. Um, another thing is your chest can only be opened by you and your tribe. However, uh, if you have things in here you want to save, like for example, I've got some food in there that I want to get to, and for some reason I get I'm not in a tribe anymore, or I want to give it to another tribe, or I'm playing on PvP and I died, you can go in here. To get this food by setting the pin key, this the spin code. So if you set it to like one one one, four ones. Now when I try to enter it, if I don't have authorization, it'll ask me what my pin code is. I can type in the four ones, and it'll open up to anybody who knows the passcode. We'll clear that for now. Last option, demolish. You'll notice that when I go over to demolish, it gives me a minute before it'll give me a chance to do that. That's just to make sure I don't accidentally go whoop, boom gone. Now I can use Demolish. So if I click Demolish, I get some of my wood, thatch, and fiber back. Not all, but some of it. And it will um, decompose. If there's anything in it, you'll get a backpack like this. And now I can pull out whatever's in the backpack. In fact, that's what it looks like when somebody comes up and whacks at it. So you can also see the storage box has 500 to 500. I got a stone axe. Whack it, it goes down. Right? Same thing with the walls. If I don't own this and I can't open up the door, I can always come up to the wall, to somebody else's place, whack it, and you'll see it goes down. It went down by seven points, and it's 1,600. So this takes a little while to get through, but you can get through it. Of course, if I hold the E key and click repair, it'll take out the components of my inventory and repair the wall. So now I have made myself a place to stay, and I'm going to demolish this as well. Oop, done. Okay. That's the basics of sheltering. Keep in mind, bolt hole in the back. That way you don't have to, to destroy your walls when you leave. You saw how I could do that by destroying that uh, chest. Front door that you go in and out of. Make sure you place it somewhere that you would uh, be close to different resources so that you can come out, grab stuff, and put it away in your chest. And finally, have fun. Enjoy your game of art. This has been Dexter Plays. Take care. Thanks for watching another episode of Dexter Plays. Please leave a like or subscribe and post any tips or tricks down below.